Hi boys and girls, we're going to make a short video for you to remind you how to punctuate speech. Hi Miss Lucy, how are you? I'm great thanks, you? Oh well I'm enjoying this beautiful sunshine. The first thing to remember is to put your inverted commas around what is being said. So the first sentence, Hi Miss Liversidge, how are you? Ask Miss Todd. I don't say ask Miss Todd. So what I, where I need inverted commas is at the beginning of hi. Hi Miss Liversidge, how are you? And they'll go at the end. I'm great thanks, you, she replied. Miss Liversidge doesn't say she replied. So we need inverted commas here. I'm great thanks you and here and finally i'm loving this sunshine exclaimed miss todd i don't say exclaim miss todd i just say i'm loving this sunshine so it goes here and at the end of what i have said boys and girls in punctuating your sentences is to think about the other punctuation apart from just the inverted commas. So let's look at this first sentence to start with. Hi Miss Liversidge, how are you? Well let's think about this word here, how, what kind of a word is it? It's a question word, so we need a question mark within the inverted commas. And then finally to complete the sentence, what do we always need at the end of a sentence? That's right, a full stop. On our second sentence, we need to add pun more punctuation to make our sentence clearer. I'm great, thanks. You, she replied. Well, there's a pause here, so we need a comma in here. Of course, you is a question, so we need another question mark in here. And finally, to close off the sentence, we need our full stop. On our third sentence, I'm loving this sunshine, exclaimed Miss Todd. Well, Miss Todd was really excited about the sunshine. So let's put an exclamation mark in there. And finally, again, to finish off our sentence, we need a full stop. In this last sentence, um, sometimes we need just to break up the speech between the answer. So let's add our inverted commas to start with. Me too. She smiled. And me too is just a statement. It's not uh, an exclamation. It's not a question. So we can just add a comma there and of course finish our sentence with a full stop. Sometimes though, boys and girls, the speech doesn't come till the end of the sentence. And if that's the case, you punctuate it a little bit differently. So it's the same sentence, me too, she smiled, but this time we've got Miss Liversidge smiled and said me too. So the speech is the same, but you punctuate it a little bit differently. So we'll put our inverted commas around, oh, this pen. <laughs> One second. We'll put our inverted commas around the part which is spoken, which I say, me too, but you'd punctuate it like this. Miss Liversidge smiled and said, you'd put a comma here because it's not the end of the sentence yet, before the speech marks, and then before the speech marks close here, you would put a full stop. So that's how it's different. Final top tip, boys and girls. You need a new line for each time a new speaker starts to speak. So let's just check we've done that. Hi, Miss Liversidge, how are you? Asked Miss Todd. Miss Todd is on a line on her own here, so that's fine. I'm great, thanks. You? She replied. That's me speaking, and again, it's on its own line there, so that's absolutely fine. I'm loving this sunshine, exclaimed Miss Todd. Again, that's on a new line. And then finally, me too, she smiled. So that's on a final line there. And just a top tip, try not to get she said, she said, she said. Try to vary your vocabulary as well to make it as interesting as possible. So your three top tips for punctuating speech is you need your inverted commas around what is being said. 
You need to punctuate your speech. Don't forget that punctuation. It's very important. And you need to make sure that you start, you have a new speaker on a new line. So have fun writing your own conversations, classes six, seven and eight.